Geeky Talk. It's the most... <laughs> award shows and there's no way any A-lister would be caught dead on the Oscars red carpet without a brilliant smile. It's true. Here to get us to show us how to get celeb inspired inspired pearly whites is Dr. Shannon Hobbs. Welcome back to the show. Dr. <laughs> where I see celebrities or I'm interviewing celebrities and I feel like I have to put sunglasses on because their teeth are so white. I'm yeah. like, it's a bit too much. Like that episode of Friends, Ross. Okay, so, but you're telling me that I, they might not be whitener that's causing that blinding whiteness. It's veneers? Most likely. How do you tell? Yeah, so the best way to tell, honestly, is based on the shape and what's being modified really in the tooth because veneers, you have to go and trim the tooth structure. It's more than just adding a bleacher. So the best way to notice is Morgan Freeman is a great example. Okay. So you can see his before and his after. So his before, you can see there were definitely some position issues, some balance symmetry stuff, not just the color of his teeth was modified. Whereas now you look at Kate Beckinsale, you can see her teeth are almost exactly the same and it's just slightly whiter so what she had probably had done was just an application of some form of peroxide whether it was carbon wide peroxide hydrogen peroxide what that does is the contact time on the enamel the oxygen in the substance will penetrate the enamel disturb the molecules that cause the stain and create an overall whiter smile it doesn't damage the teeth it's perfectly healthy just lifts it to be a little bit whiter okay great so we're going to talk about some of these whitening products um, you brought a number today so we're going to start with something as simple as toothpaste I don't buy it does it work? I use it. I use, you it. use it. I use it. Does it really work? Come on. So really? it's it's not as effective just because it doesn't have peroxide in it. So it's it's great because it's cost effective. It's the cheapest one on the market. It will work for superficial stains only. Okay. But it won't work for anything deeper than that. So it just has those abrasive molecules in it that will scrub off the surface. For okay. The so when Marcy was a kid, she said that uh, her mom told them to use baking soda when either they were out of toothpaste or something. Um, and she says that she still occasionally does, does it. Good idea or bad idea? I mean, it works. It works in a pinch. You know, if you do need something quickly, if you don't have the time to get to the dentist or to the drugstore and you have a bit of baking soda at home, the best way to do it is to mix it with a bit of water or mix it with your toothpaste. The only thing is that it could be corrosive, so you don't want to use it a lot. Do it once, maybe twice a week max before a big event, but don't use it as a regular thing, but it will get your teeth whiter. What about lemon juice and apple cider vinegar? I've heard some people are using that to whiten. Do not use those things. Do, okay. not, use, do not use those acidic products. Are really really damaging to the enamel because what will happen is it will actually strip away the stain but it will strip away the enamel underneath causing irreparable damage so it can cause sensitivity make you more at risk of decay and eventually even lead to even yellower looking teeth because you don't have that protective layer anymore so don't use it do not use that stuff great uh, having great looking teeth has actually become like a beauty trend where right now one of the rages is charcoal toothpaste? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Some people are yeah, using it. Okay. So everybody's talking about this online. What are your thoughts? I don't like it. I'm not I'm not a big fan. It's not approved by the national associations yet, and I don't think it will be because it is also extremely abrasive. It's basically like brushing your teeth with sandpaper. So it can lift those stains off, but it can also potentially damage your enamel. We don't have the long-term effects documented yet, but basically what you do is you mix the activated charcoal with a bit of water, you apply it to your toothbrush. This looks just hideous, I know. by the way. It's, and it gets everywhere. It looks we like just, shoe yeah, shine. It's, <laughs> who wants to put the, can we just see this on the, sorry, the camera, I need to move it. Yeah. What is that? Yeah, it's not the best. I don't really recommend it. I say steer polish. clear of anything that's not nationally approved by associations and just, yeah, just look you at your do alternatives. That. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm just going <laughs> to stand like that. Okay, so the next product, uh, I think is one that we're very familiar with. These are white strips. Um, what are some of the pros and cons of using white strips? So the pros and cons of white strips, the pros are definitely they're readily available. You can go to the shoppers or go to any drugstore really and pick up a set of white strips and start whitening right away. However, uh, and they are cost effective. You're not usually going to spend more than $35. Um, but you don't really have the monitoring of finding out what your before was, what your after was. Um, it's really hard to see your results working. And also, you don't know if you're a good candidate. Sometimes you forget you had that chip on your tooth that was repaired by your dentist years ago. A bit of bonding is going to create some contrast. You're going to get white teeth and then a dark spot. So it's hard to really get those perfect results, but they do work, and they're a low concentration peroxide, so it will whiten your teeth. Is there, like, are there any sensitivity issues? I don't think I have sensitive teeth, but I mean, how would I know? You would know if you had sensitive teeth. Okay. Sensitivity is not pleasant. It's usually when you have something really cold, so a temperature change, or something chemical touching the tooth. You're going to feel like a zing go through the tooth. Not the most pleasant thing in the world. So my patients who are concerned about sensitivity when it comes to whitening, I say start off low and slow. 
they have rinses like this that have a small concentration of peroxide in it. And you can see if you're sensitive to peroxide right away. Very low concentration. You can try the white strips as well, low concentration stuff. See how it goes. If you're having that sensitivity, stop. Mix it with a sensitive toothpaste if you're finding you're having issues. But if you're not, move on to the next level. Okay, so everything we've seen so far can be done at home, but we're going to move into this landscape of where you need a, a dentist to yep. go through it. So let's talk first about these whatever this is the whitening trays <laughs> so whitening trays. <laughs> whitening trays are great as it's definitely a maintenance thing so though so you have to if you're planning on getting a really strong whitening result like we were just talking about before i did this would, for my wedding yeah like, yes yeah so you basically you get a tray made at the dentist so if you get a mold made you'll send it off to the lab it's a couple hundred dollars nothing too intense just the syringes themselves contain about 10 to 20 percent of the peroxide agent whether it's carbon white or hydrogen peroxide you apply it to the tray you sit the tray in for several minutes you just follow the instructions you can do that every day for about a week you'll get pretty solid results and then you do it once a month or as you feel you need to um, there can be a bit of sensitivity from that like I said use a sensitive toothpaste in the meantime but you can get good results but it does take a trip to the dentist well a, a graduated uh, a process from this is actually the chairside procedure yeah right? I mean honestly if you're ready to go for this and you want to spend an extra little bit of money to get the best result I'd say go for the chair side you're gonna get a fast result in 45 minutes you can lift about eight shades lighter really get those stains gone and it's a one-and-done deal so once you do it you go to the dentist we have appliances like this where you apply a gel that's a little bit stronger. This is about 35%. So we have to protect the gums. We isolate, make sure that we're just getting the teeth. We can tailor treat you. Basically, if you have like a white spot on the tooth or a sensitive spot, we can avoid those applications. Whereas the take home, you can't really. Right. We monitor the shade guide. We can really you know, analyze your smile and make sure you get the best results possible. Then we use an activating light. The light is an LED. It will then activate those oxygen molecules to penetrate the enamel faster and get you that shade whiter much quicker. So it's one and done, you don't have to go back? One and done and maintenance as needed, basically. Okay, so well, let's talk about maintenance because I'm one of those people who likes red wine, I like coffee, I'm not gonna give them a hug. There's no point in doing this. So I, let's just say I got this done. What do I need to do? So I had a patient very similar to you. So uh, we can actually flash to her before and after because we got some great results. Wow. She used this product in 32 minutes. We were done. We got this is a chair lid, side product. Chair side product. Yeah. High concentration one and done and now she's maintenance as needed you can either use anything that we just talked about whether it's the once a month take home tray white strips whatever you just need. not just not the charcoal no just don't use the charcoal don't use the acid vinegar don't use and the charcoal the cost? Okay. cost is anywhere from 300 to 700 dollars typically so it depends but each dentist is different each system is different but you'll get those results and you'll be beautiful white right, carpet ready nice yeah. dr hobbs thank you so much And join me as I cover all the glamour and entertainment live from the Oscars red carpet with eTalk at the Oscars. That's this Sunday, March 4th at 5.30 p.m. Eastern, right here on CTV. We'll be right back.